Right, we've uh, got a binomial distribution here. Um, that's what the B stands for, B for binomial. Uh, the number of trials, N, is 14, and the probability that any one of those trials leads to a success is 0 0.35, or 35%. Um, to calculate probabilities, so let's say we're looking for the probability that x is less than or equal to 9. Okay, so you have at most 9 successes. <coughs> um, the easy way here is go to the uh, formula book. Yeah, this is the AQA formula book. We're looking for the binomial tables which start from page 15 and go up to page 22 there. Um, uh, so let's go to page 15 first. And in these tables you have the probability p along the top here and you have n the number of trials this is on the left hand side and we're looking for n is 14 so here we go n is 14 uh, p is 0 0.35 so we need to keep our focus in this column here and all of these x values are here are th these are cumulative so any one of these numbers for instance the 4 that means less than or equal to 4 that 8 means less than or equal to 8. Okay, going back to the question, I'm looking for less than or equal to 9. This is a straightforward um, uh, uh, solution. So there it is, less than or equal to 9, 0 0.35 there. And that's the answer, 0 0.9940. Okay, so that was an easy one. 0 0.9940. Okay, let's have a go at another one. The probability that... Uh, x is less than 7. Now these tables give you less than or equal to. They don't give you less than. Okay, so let's um, uh, rephrase the question. The probability that x is less than 7 is the same as the probability that x is less than or equal to 6. Okay, and if you need to, you can um, uh, use this following method. Uh, X, the number of successes in 14 trials. Okay, so the number of successes could be 0, it could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to 14. And we've clearly stated here we're looking for less than 7. Less than 7 is all of these. Yet yeah, these numbers here are less than 7. Or in other words, they are less than or equal to 6. So back to the tables. There's less than or equal to 6 there. 0 0.35 here. So the probability we're looking for is 0 0.8164. Okay, so that's equal to 0 0.8164. Okay, let's look at um, uh, a few others. Uh, let's say if you're trying to work out the probability that x is more than or equal to 5. Okay, more than or equal to 5. So um, using this method again, the number of successes x could be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way to 14. Uh, the ones that I do want here are these. Starting from the 5, because it's more than or equal to 5. Starting from the 5 to 14. Now the tables only give you the probability that x is less than or equal to something. So this part here that I'm highlighting in green, you can easily work out from the tables. Okay, so this part is um, uh, less than or equal to 4. And this part here is more than or equal to 5. And we know that if we add them both together, the answer will be 1. Because I've accounted for every uh, value of x here. And if you add up all of these probabilities, they will add up to 1. So, let's work out this part first. Less than or equal to 4. Back to the tables. There's 4, less than or equal to 4. 0 0.35 and the probability is 0 0.4227. Okay, so I know this probability is 0 0.4227.
that one plus this one, and this is the one that we're looking for. Yeah, that's the one I want. Yeah, that will be equal to 1. So it's quite easy. What you do is 1 minus 0 0.4227. Okay, so 1 minus 0 0.4227 is equal to 0 0.5773. Okay, so the answer I'm looking for is 0 0.5773. Okay, that's the final answer. Equals 0 0.5773. Okay, let's try another question. Okay, so part four. The probability that x is equal to eight. Okay, equals to. So this time, as before, if we list out the values that x, the number of successes can take you know, zero, one, you know, seven, eight, nine, all the way up to fourteen. I'm only looking for this one, eight and nothing else. So if I was to look up the probability that x is less than or equal to 8 from the tables, so that there, less than or equal to 8, so so far I've done this, um, I've looked up less than or equal to 8, and from the tables that gives 0 0.9757 Now, clearly, I don't want all of these. I just want the 8. So, I'm going to subtract off all of this lot. I don't want these. So, if I subtract from that all of the probabilities which are less than or equal to 7, so back to the tables, 7, 0 0.9247. So, minus 0. 9247. Okay, so doing less than or equal to 8 minus less than or equal to 7 will give me the answer that I'm looking for. So 0 0.9757 minus 0 0.9247 equals 0 0.051. 0 0.051. One. So that's the answer in this case. Okay, moving on. Um, let's work out the probability that x is between 3 and 7 inclusive. And that word inclusive means I want the 3 and I also want the 7. So using the method of uh, listing out the numbers that x can take again, the values it can take, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way to 14. And the probabilities that I want in there are these. I don't want anything else. <coughs> So I'm going to start off by looking at uh, looking up the probability that x is less than or equal to 7. And you might guess from there that I've looked up everything from 7 all the way down to 0. So I've actually looked up all of these probabilities. Now clearly I don't want all of these. I only want 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This part here, the 0, 1 and 2, I don't want these. So, after I look up 7, I subtract off less than or equal to 2. Okay, I'm subtracting this part. So, looking up 7, 0 0.9247. And then looking up 2, there's the 2. 0 
and back to the calculator 0 0.9247 minus 0 0.0839 and that gives me 0 0.8408 0 0.8408 Okay, so what we've looked at here is we've started with a binomial distribution where n and p are both in the probability tables and we've looked at working out probabilities of this form you know, less than or equal to something the probability that x is less than something so what to do if the equal sign is not there uh, we've looked at the probability that x is um, uh, equal to something and the, uh, the probability that x is between two values like this. Okay. Um, have a look at my um, uh, next video to look at um, uh, more uh, examples of this sort so that you get some more practice. Okay.